affirmations. What do you know about affirmations? Do you know a lot? Do you know a little? How are they working for you? Or have you tried them and they're not working? What do I think of affirmations? I think affirmations are good because affirmations lead to mindsets. And I'm all about the mindset of your brain. How is it that you make an affirmation turn into a mindset? Because an affirmation could be say, I am worthy, I am worthy, I am worthy, but you're actually feeling unworthy. So until the affirmation becomes something you actually feel, it's actually not a mindset yet. Okay? So when your affirmations are something that you say and you actually feel, then they become mindsets. Up until then, they're just words that you put out, which are really good because you want your brain to hear those good words. But why is it, does it seem that affirmations take a long time or you have to do it so many times or it just doesn't seem to stick? Well, that's because within our subconscious, we have low vibe emotions, affirmations going on, okay? And those are of high intensity that they are stronger and more powerful than the affirmation that you said for just one minute or two minutes, or three minutes, because you have 70,000 thoughts a day going in your head. And so you got to see which is the loudest, which is the highest, which is being said the most. So how do you make affirmations work for you? So that you don't have to just keep saying a bunch of words in a mantra type sense, but not really seeing any results. Well, if you love affirmations, then you're going to really love what you're going to do with this little PDF guide that I've made for you. This is actually a challenge for you to see what you can do with affirmations. So you just take the affirmation list and what you're going to do is you're going to read what the topic is. There are 20 topics with 100 different affirmations. When you read the affirmations for that topic, How does it make you feel? Are you feeling it's true? Are you feeling it's not? So if the affirmation is is that I love my job, it's productive and beneficial for me, but yet you really don't feel it, well, then you'll want to use the three-step thought process because that will help the brain to release any resistance to thinking that there's any good in your job. Then you will have done a rewire, a shift. And so then it will start to feel comfortable. And then that's when affirmations, when they are comfortable and they feel the power that they become mindsets. So affirmations, they're very good. But if you're saying affirmation, but you're feeling it's not true, you'll want to do the three-step thought process, which will quickly de-escalate that feeling that is higher than the affirmation. You want to keep the affirmation that you want higher than the low vibe affirmation. So you can do that with this little sheet PDF guide that I have made so that you can actually make some great changes with affirmations. Okay. If you're saying, I love affirmations, but at the same time, you're so, so depressed. It's only because the affirmations are not having enough power. The, the low vibe emotions are actually overshadowing it. So what you can do, your know, affirmations that you are not feeling, do the three-step thought process. And the guide sheet shows you how to do that. So if you're interested in that, go to DIYMentalBoost.com to download it right now. Or you can go to my Etsy shop and you can download it and start to really get some powerful affirmations that you're really feeling. Now, as soon as you start feeling these affirmations and they become mindsets, do you know what happens? That's when those things start to become a reality in your life. And that's when you start to see the changes. But if you just send the affirmations and then you're not feeling it, that's why it's not seeming anything is changing for you. Does that make sense? Remember, the brain can only produce what it is that we input it. So you're putting in affirmations, but if the low vi affirmations are higher in intensity, that's why you're not getting any results. So what you want to do is make those low vibe affirmations go down and then the high vibe affirmations go up. And when you do, 
they will become mindset. And when it's a mindset, what does that mean? It means it's in there. It's an automatic program. You don't have to fight to make yourself think that this is good or this is who you are. Your brain will just tell you that as soon as you wake up every day. You won't have to talk yourself into say, oh, you're beautiful, you're kind, you're wonderful. You will not have to do that because your brain will always say to you, you're beautiful, you're wonderful, you're kind. It will tell you. So affirmations are great. They're a great way to get started on helping to guide your brain in the right direction to start bringing high vibe emotions into your life along with situations and things that you want. This is Renee Thomas with DIY Mental Boost, and thank you for letting me share this with you. I hope that you found this beneficial, and we'll see you the next time.